Hey guys, Supercoach God here, and today we are looking at the Sunday night review. So all the Sunday games we'll look at, and then we'll look at the Saturday games after that, if you're interested in that. Um, yeah, we are having a decent week. There's no real pressing issues. A few players we might need, we're going to be looking to trade out, but we'll talk about that. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So Adam Trelora, 124. Yep, that's whatever. Um, don't see him averaging anything that good this year. English, 124. People with English were probably expecting a lot better, but uh, considering two goals as well, I mean, Bailey Williams had more hit-outs than him, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, uh, still a good score from English. Uh, Vandermeer, 122. That's quite interesting. Um, Bond, 110. So I had him as captain. Didn't do me too well. Didn't do me too well, but uh, Bevo is a dummy and played him forward. He might be a bit injury prone though. So uh, not injury prone, a bit uh, sore from last week's incident. Um, gee, they got a lot of seagull symbols. Oh my goodness. Um, Norton played well. Uh, Bramble, if you picked him, you'd be really happy, I think. He he was a really good pickup. Um but yeah, Liver got subbed. Lots of people are angry right now. I don't know what his ownership percentage is, but people are angry. What, 4% owned? Is that right? I feel like it's a bit more than that, but a lot of people are angry, frustrated. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. Bevo is just a bloody <sighs> potato head. So, um. Who else do we have here? Buku. Buku Karmas played very well. So if you started him, you'd be very happy. Sanders did well. Um, no real. McRae got a 59, so he's interesting. He's going to go down in a lot of cash feast if he keeps playing. He had 20 touches. I don't know why this wasn't higher. I guess four contests, it's not very good. Um. Anyway. We're going to the Eagles. So Jeremy McGovern, there was a lot of chatter in the Discord about Jeremy McGovern, if he's a pick or not. I said no, but he might be. Um, I don't think his body holds up, though. He's going to get injured at some point, so that shouldn't last too long. Um, who else is relevant here? Elliot Yo, 82. So he had nine clangers. So that was just ridiculous. 15 contested, eight clearances. This could have been a elite game if he didn't have all the clangers and went at 44%. Um, you'd still be happy, I think, if you have him. There's a lot of promising signs. Harley Reid, 54. Yeah, it's a bit tough coming up against the dogs midfield, isn't it? Um, he'll he'll do better. I think he's got a good run coming up. He's had a tough three weeks, so he'll be all right. He'll be better off uh, in the next few weeks. Um, who else do we have here? There's no one else really. All right, let's get into the Richmond game. All righty, Richmond Sydney. This was a cracking game. I was very impressed with uh, how it played it how it played out. Um, lost him 170. Now, this guy is an actual legitimate pick. It's ridiculous. I mean, I'm just going to find his, what he's averaging now. 107 average. So, he got a 71 at 134 and now 170. So, if you started him, if you're one of the, I don't know, how many people started him? Let's have a look. 2,500 people, you'd be very, very happy. Um, next, we've got Tim Taranto. So he played pretty well. Uh, not really a player anyone's looking to pick up. Shea Bolton played very well. So if you have him in the forward line, you'd be happy. Ryan Mansell. How much is Mansell? I don't think he's a pick, but... It's very inter it's very interesting to see when these players 226. 226 and he got a 
80 and a what a 48. So and he's just had a 121. He's going to go up a lot of cash after um. What's his break even? Zero. He's going to go up a lot next week as well. Next two weeks. Uh, Daniel Rioli played well. Ben Miller. Um, who else is it? Short. Yeah, you'd be fuming if you still have Short. I mean, that's just unlucky. Should have traded him out last week, though. Seth Campbell's going to go up quite a little bit in cash. Burnley at the 43. Um, who else do we have here? That's about it. For the Swans, Isaac Heaney. Oh, I'm so glad I brought him in after round round one or whatever it was. He is an absolute jet. I He's a jet. His floor at the moment, what's his floor? Because I don't think it shows opening round, does it? But he's averaging 136. And he just got a 137, uh, 147. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous from Heaney. Um, Grundy, 110. Very happy with that. Hopefully, he can destroy Bailey Williams next week. Uh, Roberts, 98. Oh, he's, he's going to be the perfect D6 in a few weeks, isn't he? Oh, I can't wait. He'd be going up in so much cash right now. Break even, negative 35. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And what, what was his... Matt Roberts, his projected break even was a negative 26. If you got a 93. This is insane. Yeah, he's... He's going up a l in a lot of money. A lot of money. Um... Who else do we have here? Uh, Blake, you played well. Goulden, if you have him, you'd be a bit angry. Did click a, kick a clutch goal, which helped a lot. James Jordan, 65. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to hold him anyway. He's got West Coast next week. I can't not hold that. I'm just going to have to stick with him for another week. And then trade him out whenever his buy is, I think. Just um, do that. Uh, Florin. Yeah, there's not much else here. Uh, Caleb Mitchell got a 28 as a first game player. He actually looked a lot better than a 28. I don't know, he just looked good. Um, but yeah, that's it for that game. Next, we've got... We're going to go into the Saturday games now. So, Essendon Saints. So, I didn't watch these games. This is kind of my reaction to the scores. Dyson Epple, 139. He's not really a pick. Um, Nick Martin, 136. 44 touches. Oh, my goodness. He's really repaying the holders, isn't he? He's averaged, what, 115 since he's uh, everyone traded him out in round one. And a lot of people trade him out this week too. Yeah, no, he could be all right. I, I don't know if he's top six defender though. So, but you'd be better off. You would have been better off holding him. Zach Merritt, one thirty-one. This guy's gonna be really hard to get in now. I really want him. I wanted him around round six or something. He's gonna be very hard to get in then. Round six, seven. Oh my goodness. Um. Who else? Redmond came back, played a good game. He might have been back last week, actually. I'm not sure. Uh, no one really relevant here. Is there? No. There's no, no one really that's relevant at all. Um, anyway, on to the... Saints, so Jack Steele, 126. My King, he just keeps pumping out 120s, and it's amazing. This guy is, I, I reckon he might be a top eight. He could just be top eight. He's killing it at the moment, and it's beautiful to watch. Uh, Riley, Riley Bonner got a 104, re, uh, repaying the people that held him or tr and traded him in as well. 
So I went in Malira 91. It's not the worst thing in the world, but um, yeah. If you went Luke Ryan over over him, you'd be very happy, I think. Um, who else? Marshall got a 79, so that's not great. Is it 50% disposal? 14 clangers. Yeah, this could have been much bigger. 117 fantasy score. Shocking ratio. Oh, well. You just got to cop it if you're a Marshall owner. Uh, Caminiti. Well done, mate. Two goals, two. 58 super coach. Well done. Um, Wind Hager. Ah, uh, yes. If you traded in Wind Hager, that's just, it's unlucky, isn't it? You're hoping for a lot more, better role, but sometimes that just doesn't happen, does it? So, who else? Darcy Wilson, 25. Well done. You might be coming out this week. No, he probably won't, but I, I need to get Darcy, actually. He might have to. Anyway, that's it for that game. Port Melbourne and Butters. We vc Butters, 98. Not very good. Willem Drew, 135. That's impressive. Soldo with the 112. Uh, Dan Houston, 105. It's a good score. Rosie 102, outscored Butters for once. Uh, Wines 96. Yeah, you're just going to keep getting 95s from Wines, I think. Um, Boat got injured. I didn't watch this game. I don't know what he did. Um, his head on the ground. Ooh. Yeah, that's no good. Um, what else? No one else really from Port. And then Gorn, 177. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Once again, I referenced Shaq in the last video. He VC'd Mackay, got a 139 or whatever, and then decided to captain Gorn. This guy's crazy. I mean, well done, but you're crazy. Uh, Neil Bullen, 134. Interesting, interesting. Um... I didn't realize going at 50 hit outs. That's cooked. Uh, Petrarca had a 97. So if you have him, that's not a great score. Clary had a 92. Viney, 94. So they all got around the same. Kate Chandler, 90. Interesting, interesting. Jack Billings, 42. I think I have to bring him out this week. I don't know whether his buy is this week or next week. His buys in the week after, I think. Yeah. On oh, no, around six. I don't know if we can hold him till round six. Oh, we're going to have to wait and see. But oh, it's looking a bit iffy. Who else do we have here? Marty Hall got a 52. That's all right. Howe's got a 26. I think we're just going to have to hold him, to be honest. Jacob Van Royen. 24, yeah. Nothing else really here. Um, so that's all the games. We'll get into my team and how I'm going. So my scoring is all done apart from... Apart from D'Ambrosio. So what do we want to do? So here, if D'Ambrosio gets anything above a 59, I take it as a bonus at this point. Uh, obviously, mate, if he gets a ton, we're looking really good. So projected the 1963. What did, did we get a couple of score changes? Did we? No, I thought it was a different projected. Well, that's weird. Um, but yeah, I think all the Sydney players did all right, which was good for me. And we just want a D'Ambrosio. I think anything over a 65 gets on the field. So hopefully you can do that. But yeah, um, that's how we're going. So we got our, well, this is the, our current score. But hopefully D'Ambrosio can improve that. Anyway, this has been Supercoach God. Hope you all have a good one. Let's get this video 20 likes and yeah, track a sub. Really appreciate it and cheese.